I can't believe that I killed this boss for 10 hours. They actually picked the name for this boss very accurately. This boss is a fucking abomination. Like everything that it does is annoying. I mean, really annoying. This boss has one of the highest, if not the highest, defense levels in the game. Like they actually had to add another source of damage to compensate that. You see those rocks falling from the sky or from the ceiling? Uh, you have to lower the boss to those rocks so you will get that additional damage. I would say depending on how many rocks are falling on the boss, 50% of the damage will be dealt by your weapons and 50% of the damage will be dealt by um, either the fire that he will make or by those rocks. Most of the time the boss is going to be using melee attacks. So I thought I'm going to be running around the room and just attacking him from distance and that will work out. No, he will actually going to fly to you, he's going to stun you and do two melee hits. On top of that he can also start a fire on you and sometimes the rocks will start falling on you at the same time while you are stunned. And that's what I'm talking about, he's really annoying. Like anything you try to pull off he's going to fuck you up. So after like 100 kills I actually found out that you can save spot him by myself. And I guess it kind of works because he cannot reach you, so you can just save spot him and it makes it way less annoying. But sometimes the rocks will start falling on the save spot, so unless you want to take the damage from the rocks, you're going to have to move away. And sometimes it's really a big chaos, like I have no idea what the hell is happening, there are three piles of rocks falling, there is fire, uh, the boss is mailing me, if I try to run away he's gonna stun me, fly to me, do all, all kind of weird shit. Oh, and on, on top of that, when you kill the boss, it will give no experience at all. Dragon Javelins and offhand Dragon Javelins are 100% drop from this boss. I think it's uh, from 10 to 16 that you can get for each. So these are unique to this boss. This is the only place where you can get them. And there is actually one more item and I want to check its price right now. I'm going to try to buy this Abomination Cape for 20 mil. Yesterday I tried to buy it for 10 mil and no one was selling it for a few hours. So this may be worth killing. If it's... Yeah, you see? I cannot buy it for 20 mil. No one is killing it. Or maybe the drop rate is just some kind of crazy, I don't even know. The stats are 50 armor and 28 strength. It's melee only, so keep that in mind. So apparently someone sold it for 150 million in grand exchange. Holy fuck. That's like actually really good. When you think about it, it's almost like a noxious weapon from Araxi. Close to that. It's actually, I'm, I may be farming this boss a little bit more if it's going for this much. Unfortunately, I could not sell these Dragon Javelins to the Grand Exchange. No one is buying them, so I'll have to sell them to the General Store. So you can see, even if no one's buying, you can still sell it for quite a decent price. Let's sell all of them for 1 mil. And by the way, I uh, my money pouch was empty before this. So 10 hours of killing Abomination or 240 kills equals to 8.4 million GP if you don't get the cape. Now if you do manage to get that cape, you're going to be making a lot of money. So I'm actually going to say that this boss is worth killing. So best of luck to you if you're going to go and kill this boss. Uh, you're going to need it, trust me. And that's it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.